Hey guys and girls and welcome to the third and currently final part of my Resident Evil playthrough. Uh, because we have arrived at the night of all nights, we are here on Halloween. Yeah, I promise I won't do that again. But yeah, we're here, we're here on Halloween and uh, we might as well get right into it because even though I said we'll never complete this game in the three parts... Um, I'm, I'm sure I said that. If it, if it wasn't obvious um, before, then you know it certainly is now. But we'll get as far as we can get, and then it's up to you guys whether or not you want to see this uh, series return. Um, I don't know when the best time to bring it back would be, but I don't know. Halloween just it really fits, you know really fits. I, I can't think of a better time to play a game like this than Halloween. Okay, uh, okay. Usually you go down in four shots, but you, you're a stubborn one, you are. But he's dead. That's, that's what counts. Uh, we're not doing too bad ourselves. Could be doing better, but, you know, at least we're not dead, is what I keep saying. So, um, yeah, as I said, if you guys want to see this blown into a full-time full, full -time series, then, you know, just let me know. We'll work something out. But, um, as you know, we can't continue from tomorrow, because it will be Zelda month, the beginning of Zelda month. And then, of course, Christmas is coming, and I wouldn't really say Resident Evil is a Christmassy type game, would you? But yeah, we've got we've got tons planned, tons planned for uh, Christmas as well, and um, maybe some stuff into the new year as well. We've got tons of stuff from uh, Scony Scores, um, Rapid Plays Season Two. We've got a few things uh, coming in that. Cosmic Scout Classic series too, which will kick off in the summer sometime, and a little something from Boots as well to look forward to for any Metal Gear fans out there. So yeah, we've got a lot coming up, a lot to look forward to. Um, I'm going to grab another herb, uh, but yeah, more reasons to stick with us. Um, I know we haven't been as active as we would like to be but you know life gets in the way sometimes it, it really does but we try we try in any case though we are here and we are um in the you know we're, we're at halloween so what are you guys doing for your halloween night what are your plans um I have pre-recorded this, obviously, so my plans is to have a Halloween weekend with the missus. Something that, um, you know, I've been looking forward to myself. So I'll not be watching my own video, uh, but I might watch some some videos that um, some of you guys put up as well, if you've got any Halloween ones. I always look forward to these kind of things. Uh, let's see, let's see. We'll check the key first because there's bound to be a number here. We need this. Okay, we need to send to the control room, but apparently we don't have a key to get us into any of these rooms. Which is, uh, which is a pain in the ass. Oh, there is a key over here though, and a nest. Yeah, we want to avoid that nest. It's not, it's not a very friendly place, I tell you. Oh, here they come, here they come. And I know it's not for this room, so we can get right out of here. Yeah, they are not friendly at all. Not friendly. Uh, I think the key that we have, though, is for this room. I'll check it anyway, but I'm, I'm fairly certain it is. Yeah, there we go, zero, zero, 002. Uh, yeah, so... Let's go and see what horrors await us inside. 
And yeah, of course, we can get rid of it because we're not going to need it. Um, I do want to get rid of... Um, I, I mean, I, I, I do want to heal up. I feel like I should heal up, but there's also a part of me that says, wait now. I hope I don't live to regret that. Ah, okay. That Yeah, I remember this room. What's that on the, on the bed? Ah, okay, plant 42. Yeah, I'd like to actually get to that part in this video tonight, but um, I don't know. I, I, I don't feel like we will, but we'll try. Please be something decent. More shotgun shells. Well, I suppose we can't really complain, can we? There's also another room that we missed on the way in, just like before. There might be one zombie in here. I'm fairly certain there's at least one in here. But he's not... Of course he's not dead. And there seems to be a clip. And, uh... I could shoot him on the floor, but it's not... I'm not angling it very well. Wait, he is... Is he dead? I guess he must be. Don't you... Don't you... Fucking jump up in me, I swear. Right. Okay. He must be dead then. Oh! You son of a... Right. Okay. Very funny, Mr. Zombie. Damn you. Right, now I'll have to use one of these. Uh, we'll go with this one, I guess. I guess I didn't need these right now. Oh, I need that one. I don't need the book. Uh, screw you, Mr. Zombie. Oh, he got me. He got me good. Right. We'll go and return what we don't need, right? We'll go and return the book because I feel like um, we're going to need the space down here. We're going to need the space. You know, if I knew exactly what I was doing, I'd, I'd be more prepared for this kind of thing. But you can see that I'm kind of all over the place. I might do this a lot, this whole back and forth thing. <sighs> I guess that's just what happens when you don't play a game for so long. I do kind of remember uh, certain things like uh, what might go where. For instance, the... You know, like the red book I won't need to all up later. But, I don't think we're going to need those either. So, I'll, I'll leave with just those four items and then maybe we'll be okay. Who knows? It's a gamble. Oh, wait, isn't that like a map? I'm sure it's a map. That might actually help in some cases. Um, I'm sure there's like a little... Yeah, a little set of ladders down here. And eerie music to complete, of course. But yeah, I mean, there are tons of people that speedrun this kind of thing. And, uh, it's very dark. Jeez, I can barely even see. I'm, like, wondering if maybe... There are some items to collect, like plants in the corner, but I can't really make it out, it's that dark. But yeah, there's, uh, there's folk that speedrun this all the time. And, uh, and you get some pretty nifty rewards as well. I think if you complete it in somewhere between like 3 and 5 hours, you, uh, you get like an infinite rocket launcher, which is, you know, obviously very handy. But I done that once on the DS back in back in the day, and uh, well, I enjoyed playing through it with the rocket launcher. I'll tell you that much. It was uh, it was fun. But yeah, I don't see that happening here. I guess I've wasted just over two hours in getting to where we are now. Well, maybe not, because then again, if you remember in the last episode, I said that I had to go back over everything we did in the first episode, and I, I think I managed to do that in less than half an hour. 
But even so, we're not completing it within three hours, that's for sure. Not even five. I don't even know, but... Uh, I guess we'll see how it goes. Um, I'd just be happy at this point to complete this area and maybe get back into the mansion, but who knows. We are only just over ten... Oh, wait a minute. I knew there was plants down here somewhere. Now, I can choose to maybe make three green herbs or double these ones up. I don't know. We'll see. Is there another one there? No. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, there are sharks here. Um, so, you got to be really, really careful. Yeah, I don't think it's that room I'm meant to go into. I think it might be this one. Uh oh, here we go. Yeah, that doesn't give you an awful lot of time. Damn it, it's locked. It's Okay, it's not that one then. But it is this one. Oh, come on, come on, hurry up. Get in the door, Jill. Get in the door. No, I don't want to equip the damn gun. You know what gets me, though? How can you open a door that fast? Um... With the pressure of water there, you know? Like, it would take a bit... It takes some effort to open a door like that. Um, is there anything lying around? What is that over there? Nothing, I guess. Well, we've got to try and work this. Uh, will I... Will I move it? I'll, okay, let's try. Aha! Well, that should solve the shark problem on the outside, right? You think there would be something that'd leave you on the floor now? Oh wait, there's a little button right here. I think that might be to unlock the room next door. Hey! Yeah! Right, see? It's all coming back to me. It's all coming back to me. I don't know if maybe the shark has a little gift for us. Um... You can hear it flopping around out there somewhere. But he can't hurt us anymore. Well, maybe he can if we walk up close to him, but, you know, he'd have to have a freaking death wish for that. Uh, that looks like some clips. It is. Lovely. We'll take those. Oh, some eerie music as well playing. Uh, there's got to be more than that down here, though. Oh, what's that? Ink ribbon. Oh, it's the other key. That'll be number three, unless I'm mistaken. Uh, and some shotgun shells by the looks. Mm hmm. Yes. Well, I'm going to need everything we can get, that's for sure. Because this house, this guard house, even, is pretty creepy, to say the least. Yep, okay. So, I needed to make more space. Space? That's not a word. I needed to make more space! <laughs> um, I think we've got everything though. Um, but, we're not down, we're not done down here. Um, what is wrong with me? I, I just can't speak English today. When can I ever write enough? I believe the shark's name is Nepsh- Whoa! Whoa! Okay, that is quite a big shark. There's quite a few, but there's, you know, you've got him. I don't know if you get something for killing him. I guess we could try. Wait, is he dead already? Is he dead? Really? It took that, it took one bullet. Well, okay. It doesn't look like we get much, but we'll try killing these other uh, two. I'm not getting a very good angle on this. So it's very hard to see. Okay, it doesn't look like I'm doing much to those two, but Neptune doesn't have anything for us. I thought he did. Never mind. So we'll just go into this door if we can. Now, 
unless I'm mistaken, I think there is um, like plant roots in here. Yes, yes. Now, now I remember. And I'll also combine my ammo because we want that. But yes, we need that. We need. Well, we'll need to. Uh, if we're going to attack the boss in a very sneaky way, we're going to have to come back here. Uh, Neptune is definitely dead, though. That's a positive. Oh no! Don't get to Jesus, Jill. Don't. Just don't do that to me. Oh. So the hardest part about this whole um, area is mixing the like I think it's called the vigil, which you'll need to kill the plant. And I just I can never remember it. I, I just I know there's like a color. Um, like colour mixer chart thing that will help you, maybe. I don't know, we'll have a look. Um but first of all we'll need to get into the room itself. Now I don't know if we can access oh we can't because you need the code. Which is incidentally on a pool table. Um, if you can figure it out. I think it gives you like, uh, it, there's pool cues that point to the, whatever balls have the numbers on them. And you just need to kind of figure it out. Okay, I don't like this. I don't like this angle at all. Seemingly, we might be... Okay, ah, did we bring the red book? Did we bring it? No, we didn't. Damn it. But we'll need to take this one. Because I think this one might give you the clue as... Yes, it does. The Vigil. Yeah. I mean, I could read all this. But to be honest, I'm probably just going to cheat. Uh, look up the answer and just make it that way. But yeah. Uh, I mean, why not? Some people might say, you know, half the fun is uh, trying it for yourself, messing it up and then going to fight the plant, but let's be honest. With my kind of luck, you're, you're just asking for trouble. Okay, so what do, what do we get? We get more ink ribbon, which is good because I might actually save it. Not that we've done a hell of a lot, but you know. Um, we haven't saved it yet and I don't want to do around 20 minutes worth of work again, so... Ah, especially when this uh, this kind of thing happens. Look at this. That was too close for comfort, man. Uh, but I think... Oh no, okay. Why did I do that to myself? Are you kidding me? Stay away. Right, he's definitely dead. And we're almost definitely dead. I feel like I'm playing just as bad as I was in the very first episode of this. Um, okay, did we not come in here for anything decent? I'm sure I saw something on the ground. Flame rounds. Yeah, you would need those, I suppose, for fighting off the plant, but we want to avoid doing that. Um... There's one other thing that I want to do. One other thing. One tiny little thing. And it's get more herbs because... You know. Of the way I've been playing and all, we're going to need them. We're going to really need them. Uh, yep, that'll do nicely. Thank you very much. There's nothing else here, is there? Okay. I think, I think we're more or less done here for now. Um, I'm just going to go back, get the red book, um, but I'll save it first, obviously. Uh, I'll read up on the Vigil thing, the code for the door, and then, I guess, come back. Alright, well, I am back. Um, it probably only felt like seconds for you guys, but I did actually look at a couple of videos, and then I realised you know what, this is really easy because it's kind of written on the wall on the inside. 
So I was like, well, you know what? It doesn't seem like that. it's going to be that hard. Can't be that hard, can it? I mean, I know you only get like one chance and then if you mess it up, that's it. But I thought, well, we're going to make this fun. We're going to make it fun. Let's, let's try and figure it out for ourselves. And, uh, well, I didn't watch the rest of the video. So we're going to try it out for ourselves. Uh, this code, however, looks like it might be... Oh, it's one of these puzzles. Damn it. Um... Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. I think I got it. I think, yep. That wasn't too bad, actually. I kind of like those puzzles. I played the Saw games before. Uh, more specifically, Saw 2 was my most recent one. Um, and they kind of had similar puzzles. So I, I, I kind of like things like that. But here we go. Um... Something is written on the wall. So this is what I was talking about earlier. Yeah, it's written on the wall. You have to add one, then two to get three. Three and four, seven. Uh, yada, yada. It's on the screen, but there you go. Um, so I need to look at the book for reference on that. Um, or files, even. So we're going to quickly go back and just have a little look over what each of these actually mean. Uh, there we go. This one. So... Uh, number two is red, three is purple, four green, six is yellow, seven is white, thirteen is blue, with a stimulating smell, and sixteen is brown. I'm guessing one then is water. I remember you have to get water, um, from the tap. Um, so yeah, we're gonna try that out. And here's hoping, I've already saved it. Um, so if we mess up, we can always try again, I suppose. But, here we go. Um, wait a minute, there's actually, there's another bottle. There we go. There's another, I think two more bottles. Uh, just in case you mess one up, I don't know. Or maybe you need, maybe you need them all. Oh, okay, yeah, there's another one up there. Um, no, we don't need that right now. We need one and two. The thing is, I feel like one is water. I don't know why, but I feel like one is water. Right, so we're going to add water to one. I will take you anyway, just in case. Uh, yeah, okay. So, let's have a look at that again. So, <clears throat> something is written on the wall, yep. One and two equals three. 3 and 4 equals 7. So if we mix water with red, we should get 3. Right? And then 3 with 4 back there. So let's try that. Let's try that, see if it works. Uh, yeah. So please let this work. Please let it work. Um, water, combine that with that. And you get purple, which is 3, right? Then you need to go and get this one over here, which we said was four. Oh, and we've got another empty bowl. <laughs> we've got another empty bowl. Uh, so that will be handy. And there we go, there's four. Now, I'm sure it says you can mix three and four to get seven. So we're going to do that. Uh, combine three and four. And then you get seven. There you go. So, what else do we need to do? I should have read all this the first time, but I've not got the greatest of memory. Right, so 2 and 4. <clears throat> excuse me. 2 and 4 gets 6. Um, and then you've got to mix 6 and 7 together. Right, that makes that makes sense. So we'll get 2 and 4. Um, lovely. I love little puzzles like this. You know, I actually thought it was harder than this. Um... I do know you get like one chance, and I didn't want to mess that one chance up because fighting the plant is something I really don't want to do right now, you know. But here we are. Uh, so combining four with two, you get six. Combine. Yep, there you go. So I think we need to do the whole process again to get Vigil, unless I'm mistaken. I'm sure it said 13 and 13, right? Uh, yeah, 
Oh, 13 and 3. Right, good thing I, I went back then, because <laughs> that would have... Uh, so three uh, to get 3, you got 1 and 2 with uh, water and red, so we'll, we'll do that first. Um, we'll get the red, and then we'll go for water. I suppose we've got one bottle too many, but hey, you know, it is what it is. So yeah, I'll put water in the bottle, mix these two up, and we should be good to go. Uh, water, combine with red, and then simply combine these two to get V-Jolt. There you go. That is exactly what we need. So, with that out of the way, it's time to go and deal with the plant the best way possible. Um, I might also empty all these bottles that I've got on me because we might need to pick up one or two um, things. Maybe. I don't know. I think the, the, the plant leaves a couple of things behind. Uh, we might bring the red book with us as well though because I'm pretty sure we need that. And, you know, I'm kind of glad I didn't really cheat at that. I was going to, I guess, cheat, if you want to call it that, by looking at the video. But considering I didn't watch the video full, I just kind of uh, caught a glimpse of the beginning. Uh, I'm not going to count that as cheating, you know, because I, I did it myself. It was, it was on the wall. It was on the wall. It was easy enough. I was just being a wee bit para, that was all. A wee bit paranoid. Anyway, we are here and we are ready to give the plant some food. Some very nasty tasting food, I'm guessing. So in the last episode I mentioned about the, the reboot of the Resident Evil movies. Uh, more specifically, the first one slash second. Apparently that's getting uh, more or less a, a, a remake uh, in movie form, or they're combining the two stories, whatever. I know there's certain parts of that that you don't need to see on film. I would say this would be one of them. Um, I feel like this is one of the more pointless parts. There we go. Uh, it's withered away. That's a plant dead boss. And, uh, you know, threat. Threat um, dealt with, I guess you could say. But maybe he leaves something. I think he leaves something in the main room where you're supposed to fight him. Or it. Technically, it would be it, I guess. So we'll go and get that right now. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's the missing key for the mansion. Uh, possibly the helmet key. I think it's the helmet key. But we'll find out. But yeah, I don't think they need to add this in the film. Uh, what I would like to see would be things like... More specifically, the, the remake. I'd like to see the Tyrant. I'd like to see Lisa Trevor. Um... I would like to see bits and pieces of the mansion incident. You know, um, doesn't have to be the full the full film if they're going to combine the two. But I guess it would focus primarily on the second game. And my guess is it would have like flashback moments for the for for what happened in the Spencer mansion. That's my guess anyway. Who knows? Right, okay. So we are here. Uh, well, ready to face the boss. Or we would be. If it weren't for the fact I already killed it. Oh wait, hold on. Wait, what? Um, I seem to remember this thing being dead before. So what the... F Fudge is going on. I am not prepared for this. Jeez, I brought the wrong weapons. Um, so I guess Vigil has damaged the plant? 
Why did I think it killed it? Okay, that changes everything. That changes everything. Um, I, I guess I am going to go and bring the, the right equipment now. Because I am in no way prepared for that. Um, not with pistol anyway, that's for sure. There we go. There it's there. The bazooka. Right. Um... Yeah, we don't have enough health with us, so we'll bring something else. I don't want to bring that many. Uh, that'll do. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like maybe I should leave the clip and bring the shotgun. I don't know. I'm, I'm a wee bit nervous as to what to bring. I just haven't really thought this out, have I? But then, when do I? When do I ever? <laughs> Uh, right, we'll take the shotgun and hope for the best. I'm sure Barry steps in at some point in this fight. But then, I could be wrong. I have been for most things so far. So, let's try that. Let's let's go with this and see. I don't know if I should bring these. I really don't think I should bring these. Uh, but then, ah, you know what? Let's just, let's just do this. Let's just hope for the best. I don't even think I need that many blue herbs, to be honest. Because we still need to pick up the key. We still need to pick up the key that uh, the boss will drop. So, maybe it's best that we start off with the bazooka itself. Because then that way we can recharge with some ammo. Okay, that, yeah, that seems like the best solution for now. Oh, Barry, I really hope you do turn up. I really do. But let's go, let's go fight... I mean, what was it, Plant 42? Is that its name? So, yeah, uh, I, I know you have to keep on the move with this one. If I can actually aim, that would be fantastic. I don't even think I'm hitting it now. That's just embarrassing. Winner of the Worst Player of the Year award for Resident Evil. Ow. Okay. Uh, have we been poisoned yet? No. But we're not doing... Great, that's... Oh, shit! Uh, Barry... Oh, no way! No way! <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, that's... that. Joe, you're in some mess. Well, okay. Um, first actual on-screen death of the... of the series. <laughs> wow. Yeah, let's just get back into it. Where did I last save it? Not before the vigil, surely. Did, is that when I last... I, that is, I think that's when I last saved it, right? I should have waited. Oh, no. Okay. Well, that that didn't work out. Um, it kind of makes the, the vigil thing pointless now, in my eyes. Wait a minute, how far back are we? Did I save? I don't think I saved it at all. Right, no, I did. I saved it, like, when I said I was going to go and see a video about how to make the video. Damn it, that's quite far back. That is quite far back. I'm sorry, guys. That's a lot of content. <laughs> that's going to be, like, a, a lot of repetitive content for you guys. Um, damn it. Right, um, okay, I know what I'm going to do. This time I'm prepared, right, I'll take the book with me, this time. That, that could have gone a hell of a lot better, that's for sure. I, I don't know why I thought Barry appeared. Um, I really need to, to stop thinking about the remake, um, or, like, is the DS version, is that a remake as well? 
of this. Not quite as graphically enhanced as uh, you know the GameCube version was, for obvious reasons, because you know the DS couldn't handle that. But like, am I just am I thinking of a completely different game? I don't know what it is. I just I seem to keep expecting something to happen that just doesn't happen. So what about your favourite Halloween movies? If you if you're the type that like to watch movies um, during Halloween, what is your go-to? What is the movie you watch every Halloween? Did I do that right? I don't think I did that right. No, oh, maybe I did. Hold on, here we go. We did. Okay. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply... I'm going to, I'm going to put the book in place, I'm going to apply the Vigil, and then I'm going to get rid of everything, save it. Then prepare for the fight. But yeah, what's your favourite movie? Is it a slasher film you, you like to watch? Is it... Um, I don't know, is, it, is there maybe uh, just a a ghost story, um, you know, something like The Conjuring or something. I don't know if I actually watched The Conjuring, I don't think. It's not a lot I've seen, but The Misses has got me into a lot of horror movies, uh, or really the only reason I watch horror movies is, is down to her. So, I was never much of a hoodie. Uh, 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 a hoodie? A hoodie? What's a hoodie? <laughs> I was never much of a hoodie buff. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds wrong. I don't even know. <laughs> I was never much of a horror buff back in the day. Um, and I'm still not, but I do... You know, the, the missus enjoys them, so... That's uh, that's good enough for me. And Halloween is probably the best time to uh, to watch these kind of movies. Did I not say I was going to apply the V-Joe? Did I not say I was going to apply the V-Joe? I'm not focusing. But we'll do this. We'll do this anyway. Screw it, we'll do this. Um, the key is to not get caught. Right? Not going to get caught by the plant this time. Uh, what I will do is take a few weapons with me, like a shotgun and maybe the bazooka. There we go. And I'll maybe take some rounds with me. No, I want to keep the rounds for the shotgun, but we'll take the acid rounds for... I think I passed them. I think I passed them. Actually, you know what? No, we're good. We'll, we'll just take what we have here. Uh, yeah, actually, I like that setup. I'll take that setup. That will do for me. But yeah, um, I like... There is a few horror movies that I don't mind watching, like uh, specifically some of the reboots, like um, Child's Play reboot was not bad, I thought that was pretty decent. Um, I like the whole kind of modern technology take on it, it seemed more believable. And uh, Halloween 2020, well not 2020, that would be what the sequel to Halloween 2018 was called. Um, because we're in 2020 and uh, alas there is no Michael Myers film this year but yeah the they call that the the true sequel to the original which is kind of weird because there's so many sequels um, I think they tried to reboot it before but nothing ever quite worked the way that this most recent one did. Um, and I really enjoyed that film. I actually did. I enjoyed this one. Or 2018 rather. And I'm looking forward to the, the next two in the series. So we'll do this. We'll get this out of the way. Again. That might actually hurt the plant. I think that's what it does. It probably hurts it. Um, because I guess if you don't apply the V-Jolt, it, it probably would take more rounds to, to kill the actual plant. 
Or maybe that's when Barry steps in. Maybe if you don't do the V joke, Barry steps in. Maybe you're on your own now. I don't know. But we'll hopefully do it this time. Well, I think we've got roughly 15 minutes of the episode. Depending on how I edit this down, but... Um, you know, the first half before I stop the recording to watch a video. Um, that was about 20 minutes long, and this is about 25, so... You know. Right, now, the video bottle itself is gone. I feel like I should maybe take some more rounds with me. Just in case. But I am going to save it, because I don't think I did. I don't think I saved it when I put all the bottles back. So this is just to cover my ass. So that's it saved. I feel a little bit safer now <laughs> that I know I've saved it here. So now it's just me and the Vigil. Not the Vigil, Plant 42. Now I shouldn't need much to kill it. I mean, I shouldn't need to use all the ammo that I have here, I would think. But I don't want to get grabbed. Again. Maybe I should have uh, tried to wriggle my way out. Maybe that's a thing. I don't know. But, yeah, we don't want that same thing happening twice. So, <sighs> let's, let's hope we can get it this time. Did I, uh... I don't think I... Oh, hold on. Oh, wait, I did. I must... Right, okay, I don't know. I'm getting a bit confused now. I just wanted to make sure... I just wanted to make sure... Uh, that we... We cleared that room. Right, off... Off to it, then. Here we go. Round two with plant 42. And we got off to the worst start possible. Wow, okay. <laughs> I really am bad at this. Ah! Son of a bitch! Shit! Wow! I cannot shoot to save myself. And I'm already out. And dying. Fancy that. Truly, I am the worst player for Resident Evil ever. I'm not even hitting you, am I? I'm not even touching you. There's no corner in this room that's safe. Oh, now I'm hitting you. And we're gonna die. We're gonna die. Ah. How many bullets does it take, though? That's what I want to know. I feel like I should just give up. I want to die. I want to start again. I've, I've ruined this. I've completely ruined this. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna let it grab me, actually. You know what? Because... I wasted all my shots. I want to go at this. Oh wait, hold on, what? No. I'm not having that. I'm not having that. That was, that was a sham. That whole thing was a sham. To think I could have went up that close to the plant the whole time and just, just like, no. I want to do that again, and this time I want to do it right. I'm not accepting that. That That's just, no, that's a sham. <laughs> I can do better. I mean, I wasted more or less all of my ammo, my good ammo, and uh, a couple of herbs. I'm going to do it again. And this time, we're going to get it right. Third time lucky. If I can get that close to the plant without without dying, then then so be it. That's how it's gonna die. 
I know I can do better. I mean, you might be saying, oh, come on, Rapid, that would have been fun to see how you got through the rest of the game. But, um, no. Just no. I'm, no. You wouldn't do it if it was you, would you? You wouldn't play through the rest of the game like that. Well, we'll see what happens, right? We'll see what happens this time. Chances are it could be worse. But the very fact I couldn't even... Um, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He's now got his tentacles on all sides. What the, f what the fuck is going on? Hold on a minute. What's going on? Stop burning me, man. Right, okay, we really are in a danger zone. Uh, I don't mind if, like, I lose most of my health. I really don't care. But I'm not willing to lose all my rounds. That's just not happening. Hold on. Let's try it with this bad boy. There we go. Right, I'm happy with that result. In fact, I'm more than happy with that result. <sighs> Say what you will, but I was not accepting that last. That was just a sham. I, that was the worst I've ever played. But here's the key. It was in the fireplace the whole time. I mean, I don't know if you can just run in and grab it and then run out again. You probably can. But if you think I'm going to do this a fourth time, it will save on tons of health usage as well. Right? This can be done. Oh, wait, what? Okay. I guess, I guess it can't be done. Well... So much for that plan then. Okay, so it took me four times to realise I could do it. I could do it right. Um, still, Still, you know, we uh we done it. That's the main thing. Well, I'm sorry, everyone, for uh for making you see the same battle about three, four times. But I just wanted to test a lot of something out. Can't blame you for that, right? Either way, we're done. Oh, what's this? Wesker! Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. Where on earth have you been? You disappeared from the hall all of a sudden. I'm sorry, but I have my reasons. Perhaps you guys have met them? It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. Is that right? Anyway, it's good to see you're safe. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. Yes, you're right. Now, there are a lot of rooms in that mansion that we can't get into because they're locked up. I have been looking around for clues. Okay, I'll go to the other house and see if I can find any clues. Will you do that? I'm counting on you. Well. Oh, hello. <laughs> I guess we know what Wesker was up to. Or do we? That is the big mystery that I guess we'll have to wait for. Um, you know, should we ever 
get the chance to come back. Well, I say we're done, but we're really not. Um, there is another room in this guardhouse that we have not went into at all. You probably have noticed the big red double doors back there, but yeah. Um, now there is a there is a good reason why I avoided it. Actually, no, you know what? Before before we go, I want to make sure that I'm I'm at least freed up with one bit of space because there's maybe one or two things in there worth uh, picking up. So we'll get rid of. Yeah, I think we're okay with that. And I'll equip this bad boy just in case. But yeah, um, I don't really think there's anything in here but rounds, uh, pistol rounds. I don't really think there's anything else, but you know, we might as well, we might as well pick them up, we might as well get this done. Uh, oh, hello. Yeah, these, this is the reason I didn't come in here. I didn't feel the need to come in here for this. But, you know, it's, it, if done right, it's easily handled. Unfortunately, there's a ton of little cretins that uh, are going to make our life a little bit of a misery right now. But, you know, you might as well, if you're going to do a job right, no, what's that saying? If you're going to do a job, do it right. Or something like that, I don't know. But any, anyway, we're, we're here to get rid of everything that we see, including these little shits. Almost there, I think. I mean, they get everywhere. See? And sometimes to try and catch them is uh, half the battle. And it's not as if you can just shoot them. I mean, I, you probably can. But, you know, it's not really worth it. Like, that might be every one of them. And suddenly, I feel a little bit amazed because, you know, we didn't actually get that badly damaged. Although there is a couple kicking around, so, you know, there's still time. Uh, I believe that's maybe Ink Ribbon there. So, yeah, there's more than just rounds. Uh, but yeah, the, there is pistol ammo over here, which is always a nice find considering, you know, what you go through in this game. Now just to make sure that we've got everything, we'll try and clear out the rest of all these little cretins. I feel like there's something there, I don't know if that's like the pull queue end, I think it might be. Yeah, alright, I think that might be them all then. Oh wait, there's one. Um, but as far as objects to collect, that's it. But yeah, that's the pool table I was on about earlier. That's where you get the code for the door, somehow. Um, although I, I can't see how. Maybe it's a dartboard, actually. Maybe it is a dartboard. Or the, it's got to be something. I know you get the code from one of these things. But anyway, it's not going to matter because we've done it. We've done everything. We can leave. We're free to go. Um, before we do, though... I'm sure there's another cutscene that we'll be treated to in just a second. Um, unless I'm mistaken. Oh, no, here we go. Uh, I think it's Brad again. This is Jill. Brad? It's broken. Well, isn't that convenient? Um, so, yeah, now we have to head all the way back to the mansion, which is going to be fun. Okay, I lied, it's not going to be fun. But, it needs to be done. And, with the way this episode has been going, it doesn't look like we'll be doing it anytime soon. Which is probably a good thing, considering that, uh, you know, we have a lot to do, and it's not going to be easy. But, 
you know, I guess that, again, will all depend on you guys. Really. Oh, come on. Oh, that was close. I nearly, <laughs> I nearly got bit by a snake. I haven't been poisoned yet. But, you know, it's still early to say. Uh, I don't know whether I need to get that crank up. Uh, crank out, rather. To, to put that kind of platform back in place. But maybe we need to worry about that later. For now, there is an even bigger problem that we need to focus on. At least one of many. Um, if memory serves. If memory serves. But uh, we will find out. Yeah, back into the dreaded mansion. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to equip this just in case. Because I have a feeling I know what's coming here. It's the hunters. I mean, they don't look that sca- Oh! Well. How's that for an end to an episode on Halloween? Off with the head. Just, <laughs> just as I was saying, it didn't look that scary. Um. Yeah, I think I'm going to end it there, folks. Um, I mean, what better place to leave it? <laughs> Wow. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching everyone, I guess. Um, what an end. What an end. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this mini-series. I know that this episode kind of went a wee bit longer. Um, you know, focusing on Plant 42. But, you know, I just wanted to try a few things out, like I said. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed this episode enough um, and that maybe you want to see, you know, the series come back um, in, in, in the near future. Uh, if you did like this video, then leave a like. Um, it has even more chance of coming back if, uh, you know, I have more likes in the video. If you didn't enjoy the video, dislike. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, um, please consider doing so. We have tons of content coming up. Uh, from tomorrow we have the start of Zelda month and then we have a few things then after uh, coming up in Christmas from myself, Scone, Cosmic and a little something from Boots as well as I mentioned. So yeah, what better time to join Nostalgia Gaming Retro than right now. So thanks again guys for all your support, thanks for watching and I will see you for the next one. Stay cool.